In this video, we can see the, a satellite with given mass, which orbits a planet along the circular path. Mass of the planet, its radius, and a distance of satellite from the planet's surface are given. And the question in the problem is to find the speed of the satellite. One of my students, his name was Carl, suggested the following solution of the problem. First, he analyzed the forces on the satellite. And uh, he stated that there is only one force on the satellite. And this is the force of gravitational attraction between satellite and the planet. Magnitude of this force is uh, given by this equation. This is a Newton's law of gravitation, where G is gravitational constant, uh, M capital and M small are masses of planet and satellite correspondingly, and R is the distance between satellite and the planet. Next, he analyzed uh, the motion from the point of view of uh, circular motion. Uh, for convenience, he took satellite at another position and uh, denote speed of satellite as V. And, and then uh, the force, net force on the satellite is a centripetal force, which again points towards the center of the planet. Fc actually is a net force of all forces acting on the satellite, but there is only one force, force of gravity. And for this reason, he uh, first recollected the equation for uh, centripetal force, and then used main equation that these two forces are equal in magnitude. If we equate right hand side of these two equations and cancel mass of satellite uh, we will have a basic equation from which we can find v and now now carl has selected the following values for r capital and r small r is the distance from the satellite to planet and he took this distance equal 546 kilometers, converting uh, them to meters. Uh, for R, he took the radius of the planet, which is equal to this value. And uh, after calculations, simple, uh, he got the answer that the speed is approximately uh, 1300 meters per second. A simple solution but unfortunately this solution is the wrong one. Now, where is the mistake? At this point I would like to encourage you to uh, review this problem again. Uh, find mistake or mistakes which is done by Carl and then uh, solve the problem on your own and then you can compare your solution with my solution. The link uh, to my solution you can find in description to, for this video or at the pinned comment.